All right, getting to, ready to uh, to fit a uh, mandolin bridge on this uh, Epiphone mandolin. It's actually it's a, like a mid '90s um, I think it's a MM30 something like that MM30. It's got a solid top on it. I I think in, it's made in Korea, I believe. This one is actually nice, solid top. It actually sounds good. I've read like people don't like them, but I've got uh, also a couple Eastmans and a Kentucky too. And this thing, uh, this thing sounds pretty good. But I'm taking the uh, old, this old Epiphone bridge off of here. This is a Stuart McDonald bridge, cheap Stuart McDonald bridge, but it's ebony. So I'm gonna try to fit that on there. This is just practice before I put some uh, Cumberland bridges on my uh, couple Eastmans that I have. So what I've done is throw a little tape over here to protect the surface. I'll be setting some uh, sandpaper uh, over here. I've got this Cumberland jig that the bridge mounts to, which I can uh, set down on the sandpaper. And rub it back and forth to uh, contour the uh, feet of the bridge to match the uh, arch of the top. So this is my practice one. So we'll uh, we'll see how things go here. Taking it off the uh, ends here, and I think with the arch on this, I'm gonna have a long way to go. This 150 for a while, then uh, then uh, we'll move up in grits. All right, I've gotten to where I'm using some 320, just trying to uh, zero this thing in.
probably got it about where I want it. Alright, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit before I stick this back on and put these strings back on. Just threw a little of the uh, Stuart McDonald preservation polish. Just clean off all that ebony dust. And... That low tack tape I had on there. Alright. Let's see what we can do. All right, well, now I'll try to see if I can put these same strings back on here. Tried to save them, they're brand new. <laughs> 